Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. This is the Electricians in Action where we get together and talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, so let's dive right into it. Today we're gonna be asking the question, is 12 gauge wire limited to a 20 amp breaker? And this is what we're talking about, whether we're dealing with Romex or single strand wire, is it required to be landed on no larger than a 20 amp breaker? Where did this train of thought come from? Is it true? We're gonna break it down. And is it gonna be a max 20 amp breaker? Let's dive into it. So this does spawn from 240.4 part D, and that is actually dealing with small conductors. And it does specify that when you're dealing with conductors 18 through 10 gauge, that there are some limitations as far as overcurrent protection. And 12 gauge is one of them. So it's limited on copper to 20 amps. Same thing when you get down to 10 gauge, it's limited on copper to 30 amps. And when you jump back up to 14, it's limited to a 15 amp breaker. But as we know, this is the national exception code, NEC. And what this is saying is there are some exceptions that you are allowed to raise it above 20 amps on 12 gauge wire. But a blanket statement, a normal installation, yes, 12 gauge wire is limited to a maximum of a 20 amp breaker. But let's look at some of the times where it's not. And that's gonna be found right here in the same section. So if you look right here in part D, it shows you in the two places where it's not required. That's 240.4E and 240.4G. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at those now. So 240.4E is going to be dealing with tap conductors. So there are certain circumstances, if you follow that prescription for tap conductors, that it's not required. And the second and more common one is any of those areas that are specified in 240.4G, whether it's air conditioners, capacitor circuits, controls, motors, electric welders, basically anywhere outside of 240 that says that you can do it, you're allowed to do it as long as it's listed in one of those topics that are listed there in 240.4G. So if it's a motor, air compressor, welder, so on and so forth, in that specific code article, it prescribes the way to do their calculations. And they're saying in those cases, you are allowed to put a different overcurrent protection on 12 gauge wire or 10 gauge wire or 14 gauge wire. But if it's not listed in part E, which is tap conductors, or in part G, you are not allowed to exceed 14 gauge wire on a 15 amp breaker, 12 gauge wire on a 20 amp breaker, and 10 gauge wire on a 30 amp breaker. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm here as a resource to help you get anywhere you want to be in life and the electrical industry. You can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm.